Hello guys, let us learn about Venn diagrams. A Venn diagram is a graphical representation of a set. This is a graphical representation of a set. For instance, you can be given, you, for instance, you can be given uh, set A, set A, that contains the following elements, A, B, C, D, and E. When you are told to represent this set in a Venn diagram, you draw a rectangle, then the set A is contained in a circle. So these are set A. The members are contained inside. We have A, we have B, C, we have D, and we have E. So this becomes your Venn diagram. You can also be given, given, given that universal set given that universal set U equals to A, B, C, D, E, F. You can be taught to represent this information in a Venn diagram. And this is how, how you do it. You can also have, remember we have set A, recall that we also have set A that contains A, B, C, D, and E. So this is your universal set and this is your subset. So to represent this information in a Venn diagram, you draw the same rectangle. The se this rectangle is the universal set. But since there is a subset here that contains A, it contains B, it contains C, contains D, and E. The only element that is not here is F, and F is written here. So this becomes your Venn diagram. You can also be given you can also be given that a universal set U contains A, B, C, D, E, and F. So this is your universal set. And you are told that we also have set A, which contains A, B, C, and D. And you are told that we have set B, which contains which contains B and C. Then you are required to represent this in a Venn diagram. This is how you do it. To start with, you draw the rectangle. Then you draw set A, you draw set B. And since your two sets have, have uh, members that are common, the sets must intersect. And the intersection is where we have B and also C. So here we shall have B and we shall also have member C. So now we look for any other set of set A that is not uh, members of set A that are not in this diagram. So you can see for A, we have already put B, we have already put C. So we put the other members. The other members is A and we have D. So we shall have A here and we shall have D here. For B, for set B, all members have already been captured. For this, yeah, in the outside, which is not uh, a member, an element of this set U that is not a member of either A and B, we write it here, which is F, which is actually E and F. So this is your Venn diagram for the above information. Just to take note that this part whereby we have B and C is called A, intersection B is given by B, C. This is the intersection, this is the intersection part. The whole of this whereby we have A, union B is all members that are contained in both A and B. And I can have A, I can have B, I can have C, and I can have D. 
So we have A, B, C, and D. You can also have what we call complement of A union B. So that means any member that is not in set A and set B. And that is written like that. It means it's a complement of set B. And that will simply be talking about E and F. So this will take you back to E and it will also have F. So this gives you your sets that you can get from this Venn diagram. Using this Venn diagram alone, you can tell that set A contains the following members. You look at those members within the circle A. And that means circle A as element of A, it has D, it has B, and it has C. So you can tell that set A contains A, it contains B, it contains C, and it contains D. You can also tell that set B, which is uh, all members under circle B, contains element B and element C. Thank you.